Have you ever got an email saying that one of your videos got a copyright claim because you use copyright content? Well, in reality, you only use free to use music from channels like No Copyright Sounds. Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily get rid of that copyright claim and make your videos stay monetized. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shankar Manda. So like I stated, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get rid of fake copyright claims from your videos. Before we get started, I want to mention why your videos are getting copyright claims when you're actually using free-to-use music from channels like No Copyright Sounds. So what's actually happening is that the original composer of the song that you're getting the copyright claim on is not actually licensed that song. And that's allowing certain individuals and groups to take that piece of music upload it to digital music sites and then claiming the copyright on that illegally. And then what they do is that they claim that we are using their copyrighted content in our videos and then hence we get a copyright claim on our videos. However, if you get this fake copyright claim on one of your videos, don't fret about it because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily get rid of that copyright claim. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to go to your YouTube studio, which you can find at studio.youtube.com. And the first thing that comes to eye for me is I see this important notification in the bold yellow. It says video received a copyright claim. And if I click on view options, I can see that I received a content ID claim and I'm no longer eligible for monetization. However, my video is still public. I just want to quickly distinguish how this is different from a copyright strike. So in this content ID claim, basically what is happening is that a copyright holder has falsely claimed that they own the rights to this music that I've used. However, they have not submitted a takedown request on my video, hence I have not received a copyright strike. However, if we go over here, it says copyright owners is a repost network on behalf of Magic Records. And later on this video, I'll show you that this Repost Network is not the copyright owner of this song and Jericho is the true owner and if we see the content found during this segment, if we play it real quick Go to my C drive and then go down to Windows and, he and it's free to download and we can check this out actually on his SoundCloud So if we go to SoundCloud and we play his a bit of his song And Jericho has mentioned it himself and additionally, you can see other abusers have also experienced the same problem where it says that they've used it on their video and they downloaded it from no copyright sounds and they got a copyright claim on their video. So basically what's happening here is that users are using this music thinking it's copyright free. Indeed, it actually should be. However, people are falsely claiming the copyright ownership of this and then they're claiming that they own the music and then they're putting these content ID claims on everyone's videos. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get rid of that. So the first thing that we're going to do is go back to our YouTube studio and then over here we're on the actions tab, we're going to select an action. And I'm just going to quickly tell you why we're going to be selecting the dispute tab, either the trim out section or play song or mute song. You might be wondering, why should I go through all this hassle just to get rid of this content ID claim? I'll just remove the song or replace it out with something else. So let me tell you this because you have the right to use this music and the dispute takes less than a minute once you get the template that I'm going to be showing you later on this video. So let me just quickly show you what actually goes wrong when you click on replace song. So let's see, if we go over here, when you go over here, this is the affected area that makes the video ineligible to be monetized. If we change it with one of the songs from the YouTube library, let's say click on this one, pray. And then now if we play it, When you upload your video to YouTube, what it does, it combines all of your audio files into one audio file. Basically, whatever you're saying and then your background music is merged into one big audio file. Hence, if you try to replace the song with something else, whatever you're talking, it gets removed. And I'm guessing you don't want this, so we're not going to be doing this thing. So we're going to click on discard changes. And we're not going to be trimming it out because we, why do we want to remove the content that we have made and we have all the full rights to because of a false ID content ID claim. So what we're going to do is click on select action, then click on dispute. And then what you're going to do is just quickly glance over this. And then once you've done that, click on my dispute isn't based on any of these reasons above. And then click on continue. And then what you're going to do is select license because this is a free to use song. So hence you have a license to it. And click on continue. And then it's going to ask you one more time, agree to the terms and conditions per se. So let's click on yes. And then it's going to ask you for a reason. Why are you disputing the claim? So what you want to do is essentially copy this template right here. I'll put this in the description below so you can easily copy it. 
So let's just copy it and let's paste it into the YouTube Studio, the Dispute tab. So here we go. So what we're going to do is and copy properly. Okay. So if we go here, it says Dear Repost Network. This is a fake copyright claim. The music used in this video is free to use and I have permission from Jericho, the original artist of the song, to use it in my video. You can view the music at a SoundCloud where it mentions it is free to download and I gave the SoundCloud link. Then I mentioned the reason why uh, this content ID claim has actually occurred. So, someone stole Jericho's music and distributed through your music distribution service in order to make money by holding a copyright claiming to an another person's song. So, the actual music used in the song is Island by Jericho and he's the copyright holder and then I'm saying please remove the copyright claim this false copyright claim as soon as possible and then once you've done that this should be good to go I have received many content ID claims because I've used this specific island song a lot of times in the past now I don't use it anymore I use my own music uh, however I received this claim on a lot of my previous videos and I just did the same thing and it works usually within a couple of days so what I'm going to do now once I paste that in I'm going to select all these boxes so my video does not infringe anyone's copyright I understand the claim the claimant will be able to review my video on my dispute rationale I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in the termination of my YouTube account however do not worry about any of this because this is completely safe and you have full rights to use this and then finally what you want to do is just put in your full name your full legal name which can which will constitute as your electronic signature once you have done that and you reviewed everything what you want to do is click on submit and as you can see, a dispute has been submitted. So basically, YouTube does not review these claims. Only the claimant who originally claimed the content ID claim can um, review the dispute. And then you will get an email or whether or not what happens to your video. So during this time, what's happening is your video is still being monetized. However, it's in a stage called escrow. Basically, the video is getting monetized, but no one's getting paid out at the moment. And whoever wins the dispute at the end of the day will get all the money. So you are 99% likely to win the dispute because you own the rights to it. So you will get the money at the end of the dispute. So with all that being done, that should be good to go. And now, uh, in a couple of days, this copyright claim should be removed on my video. Three days later. Probably get a copyright claim because I played a Jericho song at the beginning of the video. But hey, I'll just do this process again and it will work out. So there you guys have it. Now you know how you can easily get rid of fake copyright claims on your videos. And if this video helped you, make sure to give it a like. Share this video with your friends and family. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other tech related video, and I'll gladly help you out. So, my friend, in today's video, I'm going to mention a podcast that my friend and I created. It's called The Weekly Dose of High School, where we'll be providing you valuable insight and opinion on the life of a high school student and the college admission cycle. We'll be bringing in a lot of famous YouTubers, some college professors, and college students as well. So, I urge you to stop whatever you're doing, go down in the description below. Click on the link of our podcast and make sure to subscribe to it. I guarantee you will love the content. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.